Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here today with another Smashbook page. I'm using the Wildwood book from Crafton and Stampin'. Her name is Jessica Wilson. I'll put a link to her in the description box below. And I did pre-print a couple of items before I started to turn on the video camera. This coin envelope is one of them, and I knew that I wanted it, I was pretty sure I wanted it to go on that page since I thought it matched so well. I also printed out a 4x4 photo of my two nieces and two mats. I used a white mat. I didn't even, I just cut that out. I didn't measure it. And this peach color mat, I pulled the color from the polka dots, as you can see there, and printed out a mat so it matches perfectly. I also did a bow using that same bluish green color along with the circles that go behind the brads there so it all matches perfectly and I did pre-print out a journaling card and added my journaling to the back of it. I believe that's all I did in preparation for this video and I do get asked a lot when I make my Smashbook videos on certain embellishments that I use like I get asked when I use coin envelopes and just certain things like if you've been following me you saw that I made a, a witch I got, I got asked a lot about those witches boots. So I, what I decided to do is I recently opened up an Etsy shop and I'll put the link to that in the description box below. Every time I do a video, depending on what the embellishment is, I will try and cut out two of them and you know, an extra set or two of them and add them in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, you can head over there and check those out. So I added two sets of those coin envelopes and there's three of them that come in the set the one you see there and two others that is from the same paper collection which is I believe it's called what's up by basic gray so just depending on what the embellishment is I will try to add one or two um, to my Etsy shop I won't be able to add a ton you know, just depending on if I have paper left or whatever I have left, I'll try to add a couple and I will let you know in the video if I've added them to my Etsy shop. So here I'm just pulling out of my stash some doilies. I got those at the dollar store quite a while ago and I'm cutting one in half. And I'm pulling out another storage container that I have a lot of extra cameo cuts in. And I'm just kind of digging through those to see what might work on the page. So these are all things I try to, um, I save everything that I cut pretty much. And that way I can go through and just pull out things that I think that match. These are a ton of leaves um, that I've cut out before from different papers. So I pulled out a couple of those. At this point, I'm not sure which I'll use on my page or not. This is a Kaiser Craft mannequin die that I got from Cut at Home. I'll put the link to that in the description box below. I love this die. It's my new die, and I'm finding myself going back to it. I also have some of those in the Etsy shop as well, cut from lightweight chipboard. So I just went through my scraps to find something that I thought would go well with the page, and I found a piece of um, scrap there. I'm placing it on my paper with a post-it note holding it in place because I wanted the, a specific part of the design on that die. So I placed it in there uh, cut side up and I ran it through twice and these are release holes I guess you could say. You just um, poke them through and it, that die pops right out of there. And since I'm doing the page with my two nieces I thought a, dre a mannequin dress form would be very appropriate girly so I'm just kind of placing everything around trying to decide how I want it and I like that scrap piece of paper that I had there it, it matched very well actually it's from a different paper collection though and then I'm just going to place the doily behind that I added that scrap flower that I had up there at the top that also matched very well and I'm gluing that down with some scotch quick dry now I'm just kind of lightly placing that down in case there's something else I want to tuck behind it and I'm trying to see if I want to use this half of the viewfinder but I ended up not using that 
Now I'm just gluing down my mannequin. And I had claw cans that I had previously cut out, so I added those to the mannequin. So I'm adding down my coin envelope. I love using those because you can add your journaling to them. And then I always add usually four or five extra photos. That way you get a lot of photos on one page. I haven't added photos yet to this one, but I will from that same day. I'll print those out and add those in a little bit later. That little tab says family time. Again, that was in my stash. Same with this cluster of flowers. Now I'm looking to see if I want to add those leaves to it, but I decided not to. This again was from my stash and it says happy day. I'm cutting the banner shape out of it. And then I'm just going to tuck that a little bit behind that photo on the top. And again, that's the bow that matches perfectly with the flowers in the coin envelope. Um, I will add those. They're not listed on Etsy, but if you purchase the set of three, then I will add those in with that. I will add a bow in with that um, purchase that, of the three coin envelopes. So now my I wanted a little flower, so I pulled out my little flowers and I'm trying to decide, find something that matches pretty well with it. I think these are the little ones there are Prima flowers. I kind of have them all in one little container, so I'm not sure the manufacturer. But I did end up pulling out some other ones that I saw as I was putting back that container. And I like this one better. So I'm going to go with this teal looking one here. And I'll just adhere that down with some hot glue. And I pulled out a few enamel dots from Teresa Collins that match that peach color pretty well. And that's all there was to it. There will be detailed photos at the end. Come find me on Facebook, in, um, Instagram, and Pinterest, and also my blog spot at Corrine's Creations. And I will also put a link to my Etsy store in case you're interested in checking that out in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.